Not only was it senior day for the UNA Lions today in Florence, but it was also the season finale for Coach Chris Willis's team. Charity Chambers spent the day out in Florence and has more. It's hard to believe that just over two months ago, the UNA Lions were lacing up their cleats, anxiously awaiting their first kickoff as a Division I program. Fast forward to now on this chilly November night where they were hoping to finish off a successful season with their last game of the season right here at Raleigh Stadium. UNA Lions taking on North Greenville today. We're starting in the fourth quarter tied at 21. Lions are marching down the field. Christian Lopez passes it across the middle to Dexter Boykin. He picks up some extra yardage before being brought down. That's a Lions first down. A few plays later, Chris Weaver in at quarterback for this play. Seems like he hits a brick wall. Looks like he's going to be stopped. But take a look. He sneaks his way outside and makes it in the end zone untouched for the score. 28 to 21 with under eight minutes left to play. But North Greenville has an answer. Their very next drive, Donnie Baker. Looks to his left and he throws it left up to Kyle Bellick in the back of the end zone. Touchdown Crusaders making this a tight ball game once again. Time winding down now and let me set this up for you. Under two minutes left, fourth down, UNA Chandler Carrera will try a 44-yard field goal. It's up and it is good. UNA takes the lead 31-28. to Fast forward now, just 12 seconds left to play. Third down from the 28 for the Crusaders. Baker throws it to Travis Beatty, but it's picked off by A.J. Bracey. Lions get the 31-28 to win. Here's UNA head coach Chris Willis after the big win here at Raleigh Stadium. One thing I'll say about this football team, if there's one thing I can hang, we never quit all year long. From southern Utah all the way to today, this team had no, no quit. Man, what better way to finish out the season than how the Lions finished here today at Brawley Stadium. Coach Willis says, though it wasn't pretty, all that matters is that they got the win, finishing the season 7-3. and three. Next year, they will be a part of the Big South Conference. I can't wait to see how that would play out next year. Reporting from the last time this season at Brawley Stadium, I'm Charity Chambers for WCDX Sports.